Leipzig fakes backhand. Great save for Kozak with the glove. Oh my. What a stop. What does it take to be at the top of your sport? Well, there are two major components, hard work and sacrifice. Czech goalie Patrick Bartosak is doing both. He came from overseas to fulfill a dream of playing in Canada. I just love it here. Uh, everything is, I, I came here and I was surprised. Everybody, everybody is so nice. Bartosak spent countless hours at the rinks in Koprivinca of the Czech Republic. So with all his sacrifice, you know he was pumped to come to Red Deer. When I found out I was drafted, I was so happy. I, I didn't want to go to sleep and, and uh, I, was just, I was so excited because playing hockey in Canada was my dream all the time. Since he was 10 years old, Bartosak has been learning English, hoping this day would come. I have been learning English since I was 10 years, but it's something different to speak in school and speaking like with, with people here. And it was a first, first problem, but I think it's okay now and I understand everything. And English is not a problem. In fact, the 18 year old knew more about the English language than he did about Red Deer. I just knew that Ryan Nugent Hopkins played here and that's all, that's all I, all I knew. What he does know now is that Red Deerians love their hockey and Canadians have small lunches. It's not the same as back home. In Czech Republic, it's like biggest meal is lunch and uh, dinner or supper is like, it's like, okay, two sandwiches or one bread. And Morrow will fake it, save Bartosak and the Rebels win! As he has with his play, the Czech goalie is adapting very well to life in Canada even though he still misses at least one thing back home. My family, my family, my, I have uh, three siblings and uh, I miss them so much. Just my sister is two years and my brother is seven. They're just, I didn't, I wasn't with them so much in my life. So uh, maybe they are the most, like the thing I miss the most.